Right then, leaving Emblem Farm, a nice farmer came up on his, tri his quad bike with his dog to see if I was alright because I get, apparently a lot of people get lost around here and um, he was telling me where the Coleridge Way was further up and he thought I was going to Lynmouth. I said no, I'm coming from, I've been along the coastal path, I'm making my way back to Colbone. So whether they saw me when I was in their fields, I don't know, but he just came to tell me where to go if I needed the Coleridge Way. Well, as it is now, I'm just, I'm just staying on this track that's taken me to Colbone. Um, it's, it's signposted, it's quiet, and it might be the most direct route. But it was nice of him to come up and uh, he deliberately he came out on purpose to see if I knew where I was going. <laughs> but, um, the, but apparently they do get people who are not quite sure. And they're not, even though people can come through their farm, I expect they get fed up with it when the Coleridge is ways further over. The Coleridge Way actually seems to hug, isn't far from the A39. <sighs> anyway, I, I'm quite enjoying just coming down here to be quite honest now. Um, I've just got to keep my eyes peeled all the time for the signs. One wrong move now and it's hard work, you know, but it's, it's still enjoyable. I'm still thoroughly enjoying it. The scenery here is fantastic and it's a part of my walking holiday. And getting lost or not lost, but diversions, I call them. Especially when the maps are very... Right, I've only got two memory cards left. That's this one I've just put in, a fresh one. And another one. So I've got, I can't get any more. So what I'm going to have to do is like, um, at least I did some, quite a bit of video in today on this new walk. Some of what I'm doing tomorrow I've done before. So I will keep video for the parts of the cliff walk I haven't done. I'll probably do an introductory video. And then, oh, hello, sheepies. And then it'll be many photos, but I have got another memory card as well. And the card that's just finished now, also did some of yesterday. It did um, all the photographs um, of St. Pero Church and the walk back up Horner Wood. So it's done quite well. So I'm, I'm expecting the memory cards to be sufficient for tomorrow. And then um, I'm on a tight budget, so I can't go out and buy another one. I mean, I don't need to. I do do a lot of video footage and a lot of photos. Um, anyway, the walk continues along this bridle path towards Colburn. Colburn. Um, although it's still a good hour from Colburn to Porlock, it's not... There's only one hill, and that's at the start when you leave the church. The rest is downhill, whereas on the way to Colburn Church from Porlock, where it's hilly. So it doesn't take as long going back as it did to get there. So I've got no idea where I'm going apart from I'm following this beautiful bridal path, which is quite peaceful actually. As for the Coleridge Way, well, it didn't link up very well. I would have thought the Coleridge Way should have linked up where the two counties met. It seemed to me that it's maybe it went straight down into the Dune Valley. You know, it's handy to know actually for another time, just in case. I'd love to go down there and explore the, the Dune Valley. Definitely. Um, that won't be on this trip. No. Um, so 
So I'm, like I said, I'm just going to come to this junction and I'm going to turn off this video, just take some photos because it's a nice big hill up there. I haven't really got, I haven't looked at the map for a while, but we're going in the right direction. Now look, this is the first time I've seen the feather for the Coleridge Walk. So it must have been coming here somehow, look. That's the Coleridge Walk feather. There's no sign back there of it. Look in there. That is very strange. Now the thing is, do I go straight across? I've got that there, I presume. Oh, hello little pheasant. Hello. That would take you down to a farm. I wouldn't have thought we'd go that way. But that is very weird seeing the Coleridge Walk suddenly appear like that, isn't it? You know? How very strange. Anyway, I don't know. That's what I mean about these these walkways. That's Coleridge that's Coleridge some of Coleridge's feather. And uh it suddenly appeared. Weird. Maybe the Coleridge Walk will join in a minute on off this bridle way. I would have thought that's what's gonna happen. When we get up here a bit, the Coleridge Walk will kick in. Hence that sign there. Just zoom into that ship out there on the Bristol Channel. Don't expect it's the same one as earlier, is it? That would have gone by now. That looks like a naval ship, actually. Yeah. Grey. I can picture that. Over and out. I just can't resist doing it anymore. I can hear a pheasant cooing. I just want to turn the video on because this is such a beautiful walk. And I know I'm going to curve round up there. I've already seen the path. I'm just going to check the time. Let's check the time. God, I'm glad I added that cheese and those cheeselets, you know, earlier and that bar of chocolate. It's half past three. And yeah, I want to video a bit more because this is all new still, so it's got to be done, isn't it? This is all new. It's half past three in the afternoon on the 13th of September 2019. And this is Sheila's adventures on her walking expeditions on her own. Sometimes it gets a bit stressful when I, when the maps don't seem to always link up properly. And just like back then, the Coleridge Walk goes through that farm, I'm afraid. It showed, it had an arrow of it, a feather. So I don't know what he's on about. But anyway, not to worry. I can hear streams. Like big hills, sunshine. I've got two more days of beautiful, beautiful weather, everyone. Yeah, look, this has been looked after by the farmer, probably, and it's probably his way of taking animals from different fields, or you know, that sort of thing. Look at that, though. Look at that, everyone breathtaking in it in our lovely English countryside we are blessed we are blessed now it's half past three everyone I've been walking for seven hours and there's probably still <sighs> three hours ago I reckon I'll be this is a ten hour hike today I reckon because I haven't even got to Colbone yet so but it's very pleasant but when the weather, when the sun starts to go down, it's quicker now. So, 
but we're on the right way, we're on the right track. But of course with a lot of these routes they, they follow the contours of the hills because they have to. And um, so what you're doing, you're weaving in and out a lot. But what's good about doing the upper route after having done the lower one where I was on narrow tracks above the sea, surrounded by beautiful woodland. Um, what's good about doing this now is I can look down <coughs> and see some of those contours that I walked around earlier. Much earlier in the day I would have been down, passing a, a spring, a stream there, um, and, and following a p little pathways tucked into the woods there. And now I've been, I've just come all the way around this hill. I was way over the uh, hill the other side there, you know, about an hour ago. So I'm, what I'm doing, I'm following the contours. <sighs> following the contours, everyone. I'm just doing a bit, little bit more video on here because this is where the massive scenes are going to come in. I might turn off again in a minute. I'll be turning off. There'll be lots of joining ups. <sighs> yeah. I would have been coming this way anyway if I'd turned back and gone up the other track. This is sort of the way I'd be going. <sighs> right, over and out, everyone. Doesn't seem to be moving very quick, that ship out there. I'll just zoom in again, see if I can... see if it's any closer. Might not be a warship, might just be a liner. It's just... It's probably, it could even be a fishing vessel. It's just sort of greyish. It's uh, I don't know. It's moving very slowly. Anyway, I'm leaving all that behind. I've done all that. I'm leaving that behind now, over there. As I go over the hill here. Go around the corner and over the hill now. The other big tanker, the Grimbaldi one. That's moving on up the channel, going the way to Bristol, I should imagine. Possibly. More likely Bristol. Yeah, this is lovely, this bit of walk. I can't not video it because like I said, it's all new. It needs to be captured because this is the longest walk. <sighs> this one with magnificent views of over at the sea. Wells over the other side. There's um, a little tiny lighthouse on the shore over there. I'll just zoom in and see if I can capture it. Oh, that. I don't know what, what that's that Mumbles lighthouse, do you think? I don't know. There is a Mumbles lighthouse. There's a pheasant there, look. I've seen a lot of pheasants here today. This is the woods nearby, I expect. There's woods up there. Right, we're going round the corner now. And guess what's got closer? Guess what guess what's got closer at last? Bosington Hill, which I will be having to master, come down it tomorrow. I'll be coming down it as opposed to going up it tomorrow. I should be approaching from um, Minehead. So there we are. That was such a long way off earlier. It still is a long way off, and I've got to walk to very close to that. Well, that's where my campsite is. And I might walk up the beach tonight on the way back. I need to see if I can get another drink of water. Um, now you see where there's some glistening on the top of the hill? I'll just zoom in. There's some glistening up there. That's where I parked Alberta on my last day, last September, 2018. I parked Alberta up there. When I went to do some exploring on my last day, I actually went up there. 
and I did a bit more exploring of that area. Yeah, there were some things I wanted to do, and I did. I, when I left, I, parked, I went straight up there, and I wanted to find the Ackland Hut, because um, I got a bit, not lost, but I took a few wrong turnings when I tried to find it um, on one of the other days, so I went back and I found it. Yeah, these gateways are showing us what we're saying goodbye to. And the people we've met today we might never meet again in our lives. So weird that, isn't it? You can have quite a good conversation with someone, right? And then you never see them again. So, and yet they add something to your life that day. Strangers do that, don't they? There's no ties. No bonds as such, only friendships as uh, we move along in life. They're part of it, though. They're part of it. They've um, walked a bit with you. <sighs> you know. So, and I, I was quite impressed with all these ladies my age and over, how good they were at walking. You know, it was sort of like, they looked quite fit, some of them, and yet some of them looked quite frail, but they were still able to do that walk from Porlock to Lymouth. Camping, you know, carrying all their stuff. It was amazing. <sighs> Very amazing. Yeah. Over and out.